Millions in Syria and Iraq are facing water shortages as the region's longest river, the Euphrates, dries up. This used to be a lake. Here, the liberal water before one year, two meters. Two meters? Yeah. That's about six feet high. Wow. And now this is just totally dead? Like a desert. Right in Western Asia, the unimaginable is now happening. The Euphrates River, which was and still serves as a lifeline to millions of people, has not only dried up, but is now revealing something terrifying to archaeologists and residents alike. And this time, the consequences involved promise to affect the whole world. But why is the Euphrates River so significant? And what have scientists found emerging from its depths. Join us as we explore the latest details of the drying Euphrates River and what has been found emerging from its depths. The Great Dying River's Shocking Revelation It is already one of the biggest and saddest news of recent times that the Euphrates River is fast drying up. However, scientists are even more concerned about what seems to be happening following the rivers drying up. Currently, shocking things are emerging from the river's depths, revealing ancient secrets of the past that no one could have thought of. Recently, residents have reported witnessing evidence of an ancient, unknown civilization emerging from the depths of the Euphrates River. This is quite unique and capable of changing our knowledge of history. We will delve into the details of this groundbreaking event. But first, to understand its implications, we need to understand the significance of the place where the event took place, which is the Euphrates River. In the past, no one would contest calling the Euphrates River great, because that is exactly what it was. Interestingly, even the Bible acknowledges this, calling the river great many times. But the question is, how great is the Euphrates River, and what great significance does it hold? The answer is amazing. As a natural wonder, the Euphrates stretches up to 1,740 miles in length, equivalent to 2,800 kilometers. Also, its drainage basin covers an area of about 500,000 square kilometers, equivalent to 193,000 square miles. Hence, it is the 15th longest river in Asia and the longest in Western Asia, running through six countries. Today, the Euphrates River provides strong support to over 23 million people, acting as a vital source for drinking and other beneficial practices, such as agricultural purposes. But there is more. The benefits of the Euphrates River did not just start today. Rather, it is an important part of human civilization supporting one of the most sophisticated ancient regions in the world, Mesopotamia, which means the land between rivers. Here, some of the greatest empires of ancient times rose and fell, with the Euphrates River standing as their strong support. Thus, the region is known as the Cradle of Civilization, with the Euphrates River as a highway for trade and communication. Here, some of the notable empires sponsored by the Euphrates River in ancient times include Sumeria, Akkadia, Babylon, and Assyria. Interestingly, these empires are a significant part of our history as they have contributed in diverse ways to human development. Some of their notable achievements include creating the first cities that ever existed, establishing writing forms such as the cuneiform writing system and contributing to scholarly areas such as science, math, and astronomy. For example, Babylon's introduced the 60-second make-one-minute time arrangement and the 360 degrees in a circle system. Their contribution to astronomy also allowed them to set early calendars and predict natural events. In areas of culture, the Euphrates River is also a place of immense value, with numerous myths and legends pointing back to it and its life-giving properties. The river is also highly significant in religions, so ancient temples and ziggurats are built along its banks. 
With this, it is clear how important the Euphrates River is. So now, let's move to the tragedy of the river, which leads us to the part where strange things emerge from the river. The story of the Euphrates River has declined greatly in recent times. Recently, scientists have confirmed that the Euphrates River has decreased by 60%. Here, it's sad to say that the river, which has supported over 23 million people for drinking and agriculture, has suddenly vanished, leaving them stranded and in a conflicting situation. Here, farmers share a big part of the dilemma. With the river's disappearance not only affecting their livelihood, but also resulting in food shortages and inflation of prices. However, there are more challenges when considering the drying up of the Euphrates River. Sadly, fishing is another sector affected by the drying up of the Euphrates River, as fishermen have lost their livelihood. And that is not enough. Animals are also affected with the major victims including otters, seabirds, and water buffalo. With the drying up of the Euphrates River, the water and food sources for these animals are sadly being lost. Unfortunately, birds are also affected, as the Euphrates River is home to some of the most endangered bird species in the world. These birds depend on the Euphrates wetlands for breeding, feeding, and hydration. Hence, what the drying up of the Euphrates River means is the loss of their natural habitat. But that's not all. Among the many good things that Euphrates is known for, its scenic beauty remains outstanding, attracting many tourists and thereby boosting the local economy. Hence, the disappearance of the Euphrates River poses an economic challenge for the local communities, which depend on visitors. On their path, tourists benefit businesses, and even provide job opportunities. Sadly, all of these will be gone if the major tourist attraction is no longer there, posing regional social and economic challenges. The result also includes immigration problems, as people in problematic regions are now seeking greener pastures, overpopulating better regions in the process, thereby leading to conflict over resources. The lack of clean water has also led to health issues from water contamination. Hence, waterborne diseases are on the rise, with children and the elderly being the major victims. But how did things get to this point? What is the reason for the Euphrates tragedy? According to scientific responses, climate change has played a role in the death of the Euphrates River. Over time, the region's climate has been subjected to immense change, with global warming rapidly increasing due to the greenhouse effect. Hence, the region's drier conditions have led to the Euphrates water evaporation. But it gets worse at this point, with the region also experiencing a reduction in rainfall. Thus, while water continues to evaporate, there is no replenishment. Humans have also contributed heavily to the drying up of the Euphrates River through the construction of dams. The Turkey Southeastern Anatolia project, which led to the construction of about 22 dams, is a good example of this. In recent times, Syria has also built several dams, further hampering the flow of water into Iraq. Today, the water conditions of the Euphrates River are poor, especially in Iraq, where there are many dry patches. Ancient mysteries emerging. The drying up of the Euphrates is already a big shock to the world, but recently, secrets that have been hidden in it for thousands of years seem to be emerging. Here, we are talking about a treasure trove of ancient artifacts and structures, thereby captivating researchers. The new discovery has provided scientists insight into an ancient, once unknown civilization. At first, the villagers reported discovering unusual objects emerging from the river. These objects included beautiful pieces of crafted pottery, ancient tools, and long-forgotten buildings. With the discovery reported to archaeologists, they soon launched a proper investigation on the site. The discovery was larger than expected and key to a lost civilization. In line with this, 
Dr. Ahmed Rahman, the lead archaeologist of the research, states, This is a once-in-a-lifetime discovery. The sheer number and variety of artifacts suggest that we are looking at a major historical site. It's like opening a time capsule from thousands of years ago. As archaeologists did more research, they were lucky to discover new things every day. The first set of artifacts is stunning pieces of pottery and various tools, designed intricately with elaborate patterns and symbols that show the civilization's rich cultural heritage. Among the pottery and tools discovered were the simple and functional ones used for everyday use. There are also the more ornate ones, probably reserved for rituals and symbolizing status in the community. They also unearthed a collection of tools made from stone and metal, such as knives, hammers, and sickles. This showed the civilization's craftsmanship and provided a clue to their daily lives. Amidst the discovery, beautiful pieces of jewelry made from gold, silver, and precious stones were also found. They included necklaces, elegant bracelets, and intricately designed rings, demonstrating the civilization's craftsmen's artistic skill, fashion trends, and social status. Small figurines and amulets were also unearthed, pointing to the people's religious practices, which seemed to be a huge part of their lifestyle. As archaeologists continued to dig in, they found foundations of buildings pointing to homes, workshops, and public buildings. Their layout showed a well-organized settlement with planned streets and communal areas, evident in the community's values, organization, and social interaction. Amongst the building, some walls still have remnants of decorations, showing the people's appreciation of art and beauty. Here, the vibrant colors and intricate designs added life to their culture, creatively expressing their identity. But that isn't all. Even more striking was the discovery of what appeared to be a lost city. The city's layout featured wide streets, a spacious public square, and a complex irrigation system, evidence of advanced urban planning that could change our understanding of Mesopotamian civilization. It is believed that this city may have been a vital trading hub or cultural center strategically located along the river to facilitate trade and interaction. Surprisingly, among the artifacts were clay tablets inscribed with cuneiform writing, offering critical insights into the city's administration, economy, and daily life. These tablets contained records of trade transactions, legal documents, and possibly literary works. Therefore, if interpreted, they promised to provide a window into the time's governance, economy, and cultural practices. Religious items were also discovered in this ancient city. They included altars, statues of deities, and ceremonial objects, further underscoring the importance of religion in daily life. These objects were placed in specific areas within the city, indicating designated places of worship where people gathered to express their beliefs and celebrate important events. This settlement played a crucial role in agriculture, trade, and cultural exchange, connecting it to other historical sites and helping us understand how ancient civilizations lived, thrived, and interacted. Dr. Ahmed Rahman has found this discovery significant. To them, each artifact adds a new piece to the puzzle of ancient civilizations, connecting the dots between various cultures and providing a deeper understanding of their unique stories. But what if we tell you that the drying up of the Euphrates may have something to do with prophecies. What do you think about the prophecies about the Euphrates River? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Also, click the following video shown on your screen. You will enjoy it.